Suki's getting older so that means I need to start talking about books again. These are the books I read in March. The first one is The Pond and I found this one so cathartic to read and it got me excited for my beach trip before Easter. It reminded me how grounding nature is and inspired me to get outside more, especially swimming. All the essays were beautiful and had something to say about their own struggles and families and relationships, especially in the winter season as the book is separated into seasons. In one part a woman is prepping herself to get into the pond in the peak of London winter uh, and she tells herself everything today will be easier after this. It's a very subtly motivating book. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, let's go. The second book was Cultish. I love languages, sociology and creative nonfiction texts so this is one of my favourites from this month. There's Fleabag references and so many articulate thoughts around religion and the way language is used to influence others and bring people together for better or for worse. A Life's Work is by Rachel Cusk and it's a memoir about her experience with childbirth and motherhood and it showcases a lot of the difficult and painful moments and what drew me into the book in the first place was learning about the backlash it received around 2007 when it was first published. Critics hated uh, that it seemed like she was complaining whereas I think it's important to hear stories about the struggles of motherhood so it's easy for mothers to talk about things when it inevitably gets hard. <laughs> I hope that if it were to be published today, there would be more support and <laughs> praise for what she shared. Angry at Breakfast reminded me that anger is the engine of change and it's about the catastrophe of Australian politics in the last uh, decade through short two-page essays. It's very biased, but I found myself agreeing with mm, a lot of his opinion, so I really enjoyed it. The author, Eric Jensen, is so creatively intelligent and articulate and I want to read everything he's written now. Purring like an engine. What's that camera? It is a camera. She likes You're so precious. Oh, you're beautiful. You're close then. I'm a climber.
tell a story while Jenna's climbing. So we came, we decided on Tuesday that we we're going to come here when we saw her. And then Thursday we were here for the first time. Here on Friday we're back. Someone's excited to see the goats. Chico. 